what I'm going to show you in this movie here, made by Erta Meyer in Italy in the 60s, uh, are the last uh, stages of this transformation of the intracellular uh, parasite into the replicative uh, amastigote. So we can see as uh, we play the movie uh, that this parasite that just uh, entered these uh, chicken uh, retinal cells is going to reorganize itself into uh, the rounded amastigote form. And uh, as this parasite um, enters uh, this uh, replicative stage, it starts uh, undergoing binary fissions, uh, which we can see here in this cell that there are already several parasites replicating uh, in the cytosol. And we can see clearly also that the whole cell remains quite viable throughout this process. Uh, and this is going to become obvious just by the observation of the fact that these cells uh, are capable of going through mitosis normally. We can see here uh, the uh, condensed chromosomes aligning themselves at the center of the mitotic spindle. And we're going to be able to see when these chromosomes are actually pulled apart uh, by the spindle, uh, and uh, then the cell rapidly enters cytokinesis. And if we focus on these cytoplasmic parasites, it's possible to see that one of them was actually delivered to one of the daughter cells while the majority remained on the other cell. So uh, this cycle continues, and this was G uh, Jim Dvorak at the NIH in the 70s who really worked out uh, clearly uh, the details of this intracellular cycle. And what he learned is that they go through nine successive divisions. So each parasite that enters the cell actually originates around 500 uh, parasites. And then at the end of the cycle, which is around four to five days uh, after the original infection, uh, they change back again into this highly motile trypomastigote form that we can see here completely filling this cell uh, at the end of the cycle. And at this stage, the cell uh, degenerates rapidly. And we're going to be able to see, actually, in this cell here that the nucleus uh, is already uh, quite degenerated. And it, we're going to be able, actually, to see the moment in which the plasma membrane breaks down and these parasites are released into the medium. So this is how they reach circulation, and they can then be taken up by the insect uh, during a blood meal.